We're in the Kalahari Trans Frontier Park in the Mabua Seubi area in Botswana. And to get out into this remote wilderness, you need a certain kind of vehicle, a four-wheel drive camper, something that can get you through the deep sand roads and a comfortable place to sleep and prepare your meals. Different campers have different kinds of rooftop tents. This little wedge camper is what we've got. The more common kind you'll see is the type that flips all the way open and it has a little more space, but it takes longer to set up. So how it works, it's really simple. Got a little ladder on the back. And up here, you've got a little latch on each side. So you unclip each of the latches, and then you just pop it up. It's that simple to set up. It just pops up, you climb up into your cozy little bed. It's a little tight. You can see there's not a whole lot of head clearance, but put your feet down at the skinny end. Some cute little safari sheets and blankets that Zebra provides you. And you have a nice night's sleep. animals we can find today. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to take this tent back down. You grab this little strap on the inside, give it a pull, and then just tuck everything in. Make sure nothing's hanging out. You might have to walk around the outside edges to tuck it all in. And then you have to clip the clips. It's a little tricky from the ground, so I prefer to do it from on top. You can just sit on it. It's pretty easy when you have your weight on it. Clip that, and you're done. Now I'm gonna show you the inside of the truck. There's a little padlock on the back to keep it secure, which is really nice when you're traveling with valuables. You feel real confident. I mean, this thing is like a safe. There's no way to break in here, there's no glass. So that's a really big benefit of this kind of camper. Inside the truck, you can see there's a lot of space here for luggage. This is the water tank back here. When you're camping at remote wilderness areas like the Kalahari, You'll often see these shower enclosures, but most of them don't have any water or plumbing. So if you ask at Zebra Camper Hire that can give you one of these shower bags that you just fill with water and hang up in the sun, and by afternoon they'll be nice and warm, so you can take yourself a hot shower out in the wilderness. You can last for probably 10 days pretty easily on it. This is a water hose from the water tank, and stored up against the side we have our chairs and table. When we get to camp, First thing we do is pull out our camp chairs. It is a little embarrassing to do it on camera because I don't know what I'm doing. Ah. There you go. It's easiest to take the propane tank out before you have the drawer out. Nice big propane tank. This will last you a really long time. Next up, we keep the whole kitchen inside this drawer. This is all gear that Zebra provided us with the camper. So, I'm going to make breakfast this morning. I'm going to put a little water in this pot to make our coffee. This is what's really spoiled us on this trip is the refrigerator. It runs off the 12 volt battery and it has a separate battery under the hood that will constantly run this thing. If you want to crank it all the way up to five, you can actually have a freezer. Unzip it, flip it back, and it's basically like a cooler. You can fill up with your goodies. Another nice feature of this camper is the side kitchen. It's got all these nice little pockets so you can hang all your utensils, forks and knives, and gives you a work surface to prepare food. So the next feature I'm going to show you is a little bit inside the cab here. This is a Toyota Hilux and the double cab is really nice when you are doing photography work because you can keep all your camera gear laying here in the back. The nice thing about these 4x4 campers is that they have high 4 and a low 4 gear which is really great for driving in sand as well as a differential lock. USB port here and an auxiliary adapter. Of course you don't get any radio out here but if you brought your iPod you can play some tunes in there. And there's one other feature that I really appreciate because I get a little cranky when it's hot is the air conditioning. One of the best parts about renting a Zebra camper is that the prices are really excellent compared to a lot of the other 4x4 rental companies. It's quite reasonable. It's a great vehicle. We've had really great luck with it and everything's been working nicely so we definitely recommend it. We're gonna go eat our breakfast and watch some animals out there. This is Travel for Wildlife. Thanks for watching.